Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the word imperfect perfect. Imperfect perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're two opposite things, but that's true. That's where I want us to go. And my story is still on the woman caught in an act of adultery. Now, these men had taken up stones and they're about to throw their stones of judgment. And there were stones that were going to rule her out of the land of the, li of the living. A stone that were determined to end her life abruptly, never giving her a second chance. And they had picked up stones. Then Jesus made a statement. He said, let him who is without sin be the first person to cast a stone. Wow. And the Bible said they all dropped the stones and walked away. And this is where we come in. So all the time they picked stones, they had skeletons in their cupboards. All the time they were thrown to the willing to condemn them, they had issues which were hidden. And Jesus captured it succinctly and said, let he who is without sin be the first to cast a stone. It is amazing that sometimes we pick stones of judgment and hell at, at other people to, to beat the life out of other people. When we ourselves, there are question marks in our, in, in our cupboards. There are skeletons in our cupboards. We are imperfect, but we demand perfection from other people. We want God to give us grace for our imperfections, and we don't want to make room for the imperfections of other people. Yes, we are the perfect, judging imperfect people. That's what we are saying. And sometimes when the imperfect begins to demand perfection from other people, Jesus captured it and said, take the log out of your eye and remove the speck from somebody's eye. When imperfect begins to make uh, demands of perfection from other people, that is so wrong. Set the example by your perfection. Do not be hasty to condemn and criticize other people. Do not be hasty to push other people to the, to the dumb heels of judgment and condemnation. Do not. When you begin to do that, look into your cupboard. And you see the skeletons there. Take the log out of your eye before you remove your spirit from somebody's eye. Don't concentrate on somebody's imperfection. And you cover up your imperfections. No one is perfect. Let me give you a very basic definition of the church. The church is made up of a perfect God who has invited imperfect people to work upon them towards perfection. Well, choices are always yours. See you later.